Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a Hemingway Synthetic Quill March Brown Parachute. The hook I have in the vise is a 1 extra long size 12 hook. This one just happens to have a turned up eye. I'm going to use, this is 70 denier. This is a burnt orange or an orange thread. It's not the bright orange, but we're going to use this burnt orange. You kind of want to you want it to lean towards an amber color. We brought the thread back halfway and then forward half of that. So we're going to I'm going to put the wing and for the wing, I'm going to use wood duck flank. This is just going to be a wing post. And I'm going to, going to use that part that when you pull them together, all of them are even at the top. And I got a little bit of waste I had to pull off the bottom there. I'm going to tie these in. March browns are big. I'm going to check that size, pull it just a little bit, there we go, and we're going to bring that thread back a few wraps, get it nice and tight there, and then we'll trim that off at an angle. Now for the tail, I'm going to use pheasant tail center. And you want the ones from the top of the feather, the ones that are really the stiffest ones. And I'm going to take, I don't know, four to six of them, I guess. We want that tail to be about the length of the hook. I'm going to go ahead and tie this in and bring it back. Oh, that piece there, you can just break them right off. And we're going to bring that back to where it would hang at the barb had I not bent it down. There we go. Now I'm going to take my Hemingway Synthetic Quill. And these are an amber color for the March Brown. And these are the semi-transparent. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to tie that in. I have a whole one here. And now I'm going to make sure that I get a nice coverage on the rest of this uh, to cover over the rest of the tail. And I'm going to bring that up just behind the wing. Then I could go ahead and wrap that. That first one, I always have to rotate the vise. I'm going to just continue to rotate it here because it's going nice. We're going to bring that right up. Let me back that off a bit. Got a little bit too tight on that. You got to remember that you have the dark and the lighter. There we go. And I'll bring that right up and tie that off there. And I'm going to break that off. Now I'm going to go ahead and stand up my wing post. I'm going to put several wraps right in front. If you want, you can actually take your synthetic body and come up to the front of the wing. You can always go over it with dubbing. I'm going to 
put a couple of wraps around the base and bring my thread back slightly just to there now before I put my dubbing on the thorax there I'm going to uh, put my hackle in and I'm going to use a grizzly hackle and a dark ginger hackle and I'm using my furnace hackle for the dark ginger it's really nice on the dark ginger because the the black is actually the web so you can see where that one-third web portion is I'm going to put them together and I got the stems are a little bit long there I'm gonna just trim them a bit now when I tie them in I'm gonna to try to tie them in flat to the shank bring my thread up in front kind of build a little bit of a head there because we're gonna tie off to the wing post build a head now so it looks like the head is the last part and then we're gonna go up the wing post and I'm gonna bring that thread back just a miller millimeter or two behind the wing post now I'm going to take my Hemingway hairs dubbing and this is amber real nice color for the March Brown and we're gonna make a skinny noodle see how far this goes get one there we go kind of give it a little bit of a figure eight around that last one I'm gonna go around the wing post now I'm going to take the hackles and I'm going to bend them down and kind of pinch them there so that the, so that they kind of have that crease in there now the hackle is in the proper position we're going to wrap them both at the same time yeah, about three wraps is good maybe I'll just add one more there we go now I'm gonna go Take the thread underneath the wing, the hackles. Give that about three wraps. Then I'm going to remove the excess. Sharpen my cuticle trimmer. Now I can take the whip finish. And now when you whip finish, it's important to get that thread underneath the hackles a little bit harder with the turned up eye there we go now before I pull it I'm going to add the head cement just taking my and I'm putting it on the left side as I'm looking at it and you're gonna see that left side is gonna be what pulls in first and it goes slow and let that kind of soak in there you go back and forth a little bit and I'm going to take my poke and snip once again I see a couple of 
hackles going down just a couple I'm gonna take my bodkin needle and kind of push them up there we go and here we have a Hemingway synthetic quill March Brown parachute hope that you learned something from this video hope that you would subscribe to my channel please refer me to your friends please visit my sponsors let them know I sent you if you'd like to purchase any flies for me go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym if you don't see it just give me a message on Etsy and we'll figure it out and most of all thank you very much for watching my videos